it. And I don't think yep. there's anything necessarily wrong with having a little bit of an apprenticeship here. Oof, huge deal. Frank, Frank, Vinny this, Trocek. Yep, yeah, Vinny Trocek, seven years with the Rangers? <laughs> Woo! We don't, we don't have a dollar amount there. Vinny Trocek, seven-year deal. He turned 29 two days ago. Happy belated birthday, Vinny Trocek. So this deal is going to take him to 30, almost 36. Because remember, it'll expire uh, just, just before that. Listen, good player. Really good player. Uh, he's on the smaller size of average in terms of size. Uh, 21 goals, 30 assists for 51 points in 81 games. That's good. Teams need those guys. Six goals and four assists for 10 points in 14 games in the playoffs. That's good. Teams need those guys. The term is real tough. But, again, we talked about this yesterday. Teams look at it like there is no tomorrow. And if you're the Rangers, you got to be like, geez, we almost beat the Lightning in the Eastern Conference final here. It was almost us in the Stanley Cup final taking on the monster that was the Colorado Avalanche. If you're the Rangers, you got to think you're going to get better internally. You have to replace Andrew Kopp, who it looks like is going somewhere else, probably Detroit. Um, and he was a he was a really key part of your team. You're going to get better with the young guys. You have some high-end talent. You have a goalie who's playing banana sandwich. I understand why they made this deal. Um, and with the lack of real star talent up the middle available in free agency today, I can see why Trocek got that money. Yeah, that's the thing because I think uh, for the Rangers, I think Molly Walker uh, of the New York Post ended up saying that there was a there was a potential of that. Um, there was also Nazem Kadri being linked to the Rangers too. I agree though that that I'm pretty sure for Chris Drew, he's thinking that that this is the time. This is the time to truly go for it when a lot of these guys are still on ELCs, when a lot of these guys are still uh, yep. coming up and are are relatively cheap to what they probably will be later on. That I, I think for Trocek, the fit is really good. The Rangers need more a stronger penalty killing. They need just as much defense as they can get up the middle because um, the rest of the team defensively isn't amazing. Um, and I feel like Trocek fits those boxes. He can be kind of a dual threat guy who can who can shoot well, but can still also pass pretty consistently. But seven years. I, I really want to see what the AAV is because that to me, that to me might really destroy what the Rangers are building cap wise because you already have a ton of guys locked up. And for the Rangers, you got a lot of younger guys that are still waiting for those bigger deals. Um, I mean, obviously, Adam Fox is signed for 9.5 for the next foreseeable future, as he rightfully should be. But Ryan Lindgren's going to want a huge raise over $3 million in yep. two years. Keandre Miller is going to be an RFA after next year. Schneider is going to be an RFA after two years. you got Kako Stoll as an RFA. you got Lafreniere as an RFA after next year. you got Heedle as an RFA after, after next year. And you got Igor Shostrukin, who's going to be in the UFA after 2025. He's making $5.6 million. He could be the first goaltender since Bobrovsky to get over 10 or to get around that range. And to me, I love the fit of Trocek. But you just look at how much else they need to sign, and where do they get that? Where where are they going to get that from? That's tomorrow's problem. Truba, Eight million. But that's tomorrow's that problem, man. That is it's a, they're always going to be a cap team. Uh, he feels like a ranger. Like I I, I think this guy is going to make Madison Square Garden uh, get to their feet. And also, like the Rangers are in a good position. How do they afford this guy? How do they afford that guy? How do they afford that guy? The reason they're going to cost a lot of money is because they're talented. There's a lot of teams out there right now looking at the roster and going, hopefully we can get the most out of this guy. Hopefully we can get the most out of this guy. The Rangers know their players are good. If you have talented players and you can't afford them, at very least you could always trade them for other assets that will help you down the line, something else, uh, you know, a hole to fill uh, in the lineup. The Rangers are in a great position. I don't blame them for using this cap room at all. Speaking of using cap room, one of the most underrated players in the National Hockey League isn't underrated anymore because he signs uh, one of the biggest contracts uh, in the league, frankly. Eight times 8.125 for Robert Thomas in St. Louis. Elite extension. Uh, this, this dude is where hockey 